Hi everyone, Lori Whitlock here. Welcome to the YouTube channel today. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through these new A2 French door easel cards that I have in the Silhouette Design Store for Silhouette users. And I also have them in my shop at shop.lauriewhitlock.com in SVG format for anyone with other types of machines, or you can also use them with the Silhouette Designer Edition upgrade or above. So these cards are so darling. They're um, kind of a new take on a traditional card. You open them up and you have a space for writing a message. Um, and when they're folded closed, they look like this. And then it's so easy to just pop those two sides open and stand them up. There's a little groove on each side and they slip right into place. And you can stand them up for display. So, so cute. So we've got a couple of different birthday um, designs here and a couple of different Easter designs here. And I'll show you a couple more here in just a minute. But I'm not going to do a full tutorial on how to completely assemble this because it's quite simple. Um, you've got your base card base, which looks like this. Um, it's the entire outline, including the little notch here on this tab, this section here. So you'll just cut that out. You'll layer on just with some adhesive your panel on the inside. And then when you fold these over, that's where you'll put your covering panels. So you'll put your two small rectangles here at the bottom. Then you'll put your large teal rectangle in the back. And then this section here, it's got the little jet out here at the bottom. So it'll show you exactly where to put your tan or craft colored mat. And then the graphic panel on top of that. Some of these graphic panels have a print and cut component. Actually, all of them do. They all have a sentiment, but they also, some of them have another component like these strings here on the balloons. So you don't have to cut those out. You can just print those. So it's, this is such an easy one to create. You just do the print and cut with the balloon strings and the happy birthday sentiment, and then put the balloons on. And you could use pop dots and uh, create a little dimension there if you'd like to as well. Um, let's look at this one. This one's just, three darling little candles. And then the happy birthday is the print and cut sentiment. So once again, really, really easy. We've got a paper piece, little gnome with bunny ears. So darling for Easter time. And then we've got this a cute little chick with the little happy Easter sentiment that is done with the print and cut. So let me show you the other panels and how you can mix and match these. I have a Mother's Day, really pretty flower bundle, and that would be really cute on this one. So this is what I'm talking about. You would just create your little panel, and then you would glue it right in place here along the bottom. That'll show you exactly where to glue it. Just line that up, glue that in place, and that'll fit right here on the front of the card. So you just paper piece these, and when you look at the picture, you'll notice that you'll need to layer them. So you'll put down the green layer, and then the darker teal, then the teal, and all your flowers, just build them up so that you can get all your layers showing through properly. So we've got that cute, I'll just lay all these flat for a minute while we show some different options for the panels on the front. And like I said, these are A2, they'll fit inside an A2 envelope. We've got this cute little bunny with an Easter egg and I have modified him to add a little nose to him. So that will be in the file as well. And then you've got a happy spring little watering can with a little bundle of flowers. I just love paper piece flowers. They're so, so cute. Got this cute little bunny basket with the happy Easter sentiment. And we have this happy St. Patrick's Day little leprechaun. And he's way cute on all those with all those green panels. Of course, you could put on covering panels that are made out of uh, pattern paper to add a little extra pizzazz to these cards. You could replace the graphics that I've put on this front panel with anything that you would like to put on um, your card. I've got lots of graphics that I've done over the years that would be darling. I'm just going to grab a couple and just show you how you could layer on lots of different things for different holidays. I've got some really cute Easter ones here. You've even got, I mean, you could use it for Christmas if you did a little reindeer. I've got a cute froggy. You can go find these types of graphics in my other files, but you can see how they would layer on top of these cards and make this card base super usable and super fun for lots of different occasions. Um, right now I have nine different designs 
for this particular card base. So I hope you have fun making these. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment here on YouTube. Uh, you can reach out on our Facebook page at laurie.whitlock.studio on Facebook, or you can reach us at our blog at lauriewhitlock.com. And of course, uh, here on the YouTube channel and, and then in our shop as well at shop.lauriewhitlock.com. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Hope you have fun crafting. And I really hope you get a chance to make these darling French door easel cards and that you have fun making them. We'll see you all in another video. Bye-bye.